This is Serena Ocasio from the Independent Network, and we're at the Woodstock Playhouse for the screening of The Strange Ones. I'm Lauren Walkstein. I'm Chris Radcliffe. And we're the directors of The Strange Ones. Uh, the Strange Ones is a uh, mystery thriller about two uh, men who are on a road trip, and uh, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> how else is it? You, you do. And, and as the trip uh-huh. progresses, you slowly start to realize that they're not. Nothing is. Nothing is what it seems. Yeah. Dun dun dun. He's sort of drawn to this black hole, this like cave. Like he has like nowhere to go. It's like you know what I mean. And like we kind of wanted to insert like little visual cues of that, like throughout the movie, where it's like these, these sort of like voids that are sort of calling to him throughout yeah. the film. Like when he stares into the coffee cup, he stares into the cave, he stares into yeah these things. The circle in the notebook and whatnot. Yeah, the yeah. In the notebook. Yeah. We'd shot here before and just really liked the sort of variety of different types of locations you could get here, like um, suburbs, cool. forests, like uh, real, really vast nature, kind of like be- like you know really beautiful landscapes, as well as like um, yeah towns and hospitals and stuff like. We needed all of that and it was all here. So. Yeah. And it has a very timeless quality to it, which we also, and, and it doesn't feel like it's any particular place. It's very magical. Well, we used old anamorphic lenses and an old ingenue zoom lens and other zoom lenses that had old glass that kind of created this hazy uh, feel, um, soft focus. Yeah. The, uh, the whole movie has like a very subjective kind of dreamlike sort of feel to the story and so we wanted to try to capture that visually and we thought that um, using really old lenses and um, uh, would sort of help lend it that quality sort of subtly in a visual sense. Want more information from the Independent Network or to learn more about the festival visit www.woodstockfestival.com.